What's going on everybody out there? How you doing? I'm Jay, Rep the Comics. I hope all my fellow nerds are doing great out there. I hope you were able to grab all of the books this week that you were looking for. We are coming back at you once again with another video. New comic book day haul. This one is going to involve some of last week and this week because I wasn't able to grab my books last week. So you get to see them this week. But before we start out this video, please take a moment, hit that subscribe button, notification bell so you can be notified every time I drop some new content. Also, please like the video, smash that like button for your mans real quick, and leave your comment below. What is a book that you were able to pick up this week that you were looking forward to? Please leave that in the comments. I do respond to all comments on Instagram on here. Um, speaking of Instagram, if you have not yet, please head over to Instagram at Rep the Comics. Give us a follow over there. Also, look for the giveaway contest um, post and make sure you enter over. It is an Instagram only contest. Make sure you go enter. Also, if you haven't seen yet, we are doing a giveaway here. I do not have the book with me, unfortunately. Um, but you can watch the video. Uh, I am giving away a Batman issue number 100. Uh, it is a variant cover, a sketch cover. Uh, that way, once cons go back, you can maybe get uh, Tinian to sign it, you know? Um, but anyway, that's going to happen once we hit 100 subscribers on this YouTube channel. So make sure you enter. It is super simple. Go watch that video and learn how you can win a free comic book, maybe even more. So, all right, with the, uh, now all that business is out the way, let us get into, I'm gonna try and show you this big old stack of books, baby. Um, first, we are going to start out with some indie books um, that I picked up. The first one, obviously, from this week, I had to grab um, is Berserker number one. Um, I am interested in this book just because of Keanu Reeves, and uh, I'm a huge, um, now I'm blanking on the name of the movie, John Wick fan so i'm interested to see what they did with him in comics and uh as you can see it looks just like him um i think it's a pretty cool cover he's got those arrows sticking out of his um arm right here i think that's pretty cool um i know this isn't like a rare book um or whatnot i, I heard over 600,000 copies or something like that printed um but it is a number one and it is Keanu Reeves, so I went ahead, I picked this up, Berserker, issue number one. Um, let me move this stuff out of the way real quick, so I can set these books here. Second book I picked up is a series that I'm really enjoying right now, um, and that would be crossover issue number four. I believe this came out last week. Um, love this cover, though. Very vibrant cover. This might be one of my uh, favorite covers right here so far. I do like the Spawn cover, but I don't know. I kind of like this. If you're not reading this book, though, I highly suggest it. Um, to me, I know a lot of people are on Venom right now um, and King in Black. Um, I do really enjoy King in Black, but this is also a pretty good read. Crossover issue number four into the... PC baby. Next book I got two copies. This is definitely one of the hottest books lately. Um and I believe this is the last of this storyline, the story arc. Um and that would be Something is Killing the Children number 15. I can't lie, I got onto this story real late. Um but once I started reading it, um whew, Great, great story. It's probably going to be hard for you to pick up back issues at this point. Because, um, like I said, it's a very hot book. Especially those single-digit, early early digit copies are expensive right now. 
I thankfully got to it before it got there. But um, so I was lucky in that aspect. Um, but still, you know, it's the last one of that volume or story arc. So we'll see what happens. Um, next books I got were uh, these are all spawn books. So we have spawn number 311. Honestly, I just got this because uh, it's a pretty crazy cover to me. Barbary, he, he, Barbary, or however you say that, he killed it. Then we have, um, this is the latest, 315. We have a new character on the cover there. So I can't wait to read that. And then the next book I got is another indie book, and that would be Department of Truth, issue number uh, six. This is cover A. Um, I think this is a, actually a pretty dope cover. I'm not going to hold you up. I really kind of enjoy this one. Tinian has been killing it on this, just like you've been killing it on Batman. All right, so next we are going to be getting into the Marvel Hall. Um, and actually, we'll save these books maybe for last. This is going to be the regular Marvel Hall. Um, and here we have two copies of Demon Day X-Men number one, Peach Momoko. I'm not sure if this is the first time she's actually wrote a story, but um, for Marvel, it surely is, I believe. Um, so, you know, I picked this up. Got two copies. You never know. Um, I will read the story. When I read the um, online, the synopsis, I wasn't really impressed, but, you know, still give it a try. Um, next book I have, which I, as you know, I'm already late on this from last week, King in Black, number four, we have the regular cover, and then we have this pretty sweet, um, variant with, uh, Silver Surfer Black, I believe. Man, that is crazy. He just, he going right through those dragons, right? So I got these books right here, King and Black number four. You already know what happens in that book. A lot of controversy behind the speculation that was dropped on it, but you know. The next two books I picked up, I did not even know they were doing, especially um, for this one book. But the first one is going to be Daredevil issue number 25, third printing, which is the exact same as the second printing but black and white except for obviously you could see daredevil is in color um but as we know first electra has daredevil here's her on the cover in her daredevil costume so i just went ahead and grabbed it and then this one i'm just surprised because i didn't know that this issue was popular like that but this is uh daredevil issue number 26 the second printing and once again we have electra as daredevil on the cover uh looks pretty beat up there with her size laying on her so yeah i think that's actually a pretty dope cover especially for what the cover a was the first printing for this book I enjoy this, so I'm glad I got a copy. Uh, I might try to pick up a couple more uh, if they still have them. Next couple of books. Uh, these are definitely books I picked up because they're number one. First one is American Chavez Made in the USA issue number one. Standard trade dress cover A. Um, wasn't feeling the variance too much, so... I just went ahead and grabbed this, so, you know, self-explanatory. Next one, Captain America, number one of the new volume. Figured I'd grab it. It's Cap to number one. Why not? Next book I picked up, I know there was a lot of speculation on this book. 
Um, and this would be Marvel Action Captain Marvel number one. You can see Captain Marvel. You can see um, Spider-Gwen taking a selfie right there. Um, had to go ahead and pick this up. Heard there's a lot of spec behind it, so we'll see. All right. Next couple of books that we are going to go into is Marvel once again. Well, no. First two are IDW, and the last three are Marvel, but they're both, they're all um, Star Wars books. And this is the Star Wars High Republic Adventures, issue number two. I believe there is a first appearance in this book. I can't remember the name, but uh, I think it's a pretty sweet cover. So. When I went ahead, got two copies of that. And then I went ahead and was able to somehow come across three copies of Star Wars High Republic issue number three, which also has a first appearance of a new creature or person. I haven't read it yet, so um, I did get one, two. Ended up with three copies of this. Uh, Star Wars are very hot books. High Republic, very first story in canon um before episode one so you know it's it's been a both of them have been a pretty good read the the, the marvel high republic and the idw star wars and high republic adventures have both been good reads so i've enjoyed those all right now we are going to get to the dc pile first we have the next batman issue number four pretty dope i think i already got this for some reason but i, I don't I think that was in my pull list and i grabbed it anyway something i've been very excited to see where they go uh, i wasn't exactly super happy with how they ended it but um we have here tinian is back or tinian batman issue number 106 infinite frontier tie-in i think that is a sick cover personally very very happy to get my hands on that added to the run next one we have here would be swamp thing number one first appearance of the brand new swamp thing here um i believe which i didn't realize but it says one of ten so it looks like this is going to be a 10 issue series not sure how i feel about that i'm going to give this book a read and uh if i like the story maybe i'll continue but We'll see. Uh, next book I got is uh, Infinite Frontier, issue number zero. Um, this is a thick book. Um, I did not realize that this was going to be a thick book. If you could see, this book is thicky. And on top of that, oh, here we are. Okay. There, there you can see the cover price, $5.99, okay? I would say that this book is comparable to the size of the next Batman book. The next Batman book is $7.99. It's a dollar more, okay? That's interesting because I thought I paid $7.99 for this because, as you can see, the price is not on the front here. It's actually on the back, so I didn't realize that first. Um... And then this last book is just a pickup that I got because I got the other one, issue number one, uh, second print. So I decided to get this one as well. And this is um, the next Batman, issue number two, second printing. There you go. My man Unmask. He's masked up in the uh, issue number one, second printing. He has his mask off in this one. So I went ahead and grabbed it. It was the last one. It was still there. I'm kind of happy I did. So, um, And that does it for it. There you go. New comic book day haul. This week's and last week's mixed together. I think I got some great books. Can't wait to get reading. Um, I love Wednesday. And it's funny, when I walked into my LCS, um, my man's was like, oh, it's a light week. Uh, for me, it's not. I got a lot of reading to do now, and I'm very excited that um, 
come Friday on my next day off that I will be able to uh, enjoy these comics. So once again, thank you very much for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. If you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell. Also, super Hulk smash that like button for your mans. Uh, and comment it does help get us into this youtube stratosphere as we want to grow the channel um so yeah uh, also comment below let me know what are some books you picked up for new comic book day or just that you picked up in general um so with that being said i hope everybody has a wonderful rest of the week happy hunting if you're hitting those back bins this weekend like your mans um if not just have a great weekend anyway Thank y'all once again. Peace out.